Hope you're having a good day guys, Datsi here, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can become faster. Now what I'm going to be talking about today is something called the principle of raw efficiency. Now what this principle states is that grouping tasks together in mass will allow you to become more efficient. A quick example of this is actually Henry Ford and the automobile industry. He really pioneered the use of assembly lines when it came to producing automobiles, and that allowed it to be faster to produce an automobile, more efficient to produce one, and all around cheaper. And why this is important is actually because you're basically your own factory. And if I'm going to be honest here, we all kind of do this on one level or another, where we kind of group things together. Take for instance going to the gas station and on your way over you stop at the grocery store to get some top ramen because you don't have any money like me. Although intentional, we tend to not have the same mentality when it comes to smaller things. However, if we actually begin focusing our energy on delegating and grouping up tasks, then we can become much more efficient and therefore faster. So let me take this mindset into the painting I'm making in the background, for instance. All right, so let me give a more personal example of using the principle of raw efficiency. In the painting in the background, for instance, I did a lot of grouping of tasks, and let me tell you what I mean. For example, in my painting, if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that I've been blocking in shadows, and when I did that, I actually did it throughout the whole painting, doing it all at once so I didn't have to come back to it. You'll also notice that when I had a specific brush size, I kind of refined and used it on the whole entire painting. That way, I wouldn't have to go back to that brush size again and that which would allow me to be more efficient and work with the next brush size, which is usually smaller. Another thing I did was with brush color. What you'll notice, especially with the black building, is that I blocked in the black building with the same kind of brush color. And when I started refining the building with lights and darks, I actually went ahead and refined the whole entire building with a single color so I would never have to go back to that color. And so that I could also move on to a new color and do the same process. You'll also notice that I did this with atmosphere, detail pushing, and everything. And by using the principle of raw efficiency, I was able to crank this painting out in three hours just by grouping things together. And the powerful thing about this idea is that the more that you can group together to do, in an assembly line kind of fashion, the faster you'll be. Anyways, now I'm going to be talking about some of the excess facts about the painting. To be quite honest, a while ago in my last video, I said that I tried to draw a space station twice and I failed both times and I did a backup painting, right? Now this week, I did another backup painting and let me explain. So I actually did the space station successfully. After doing a completely new line art and after thinking it through, I was able to produce a finished piece. However, it was 2 a.m. on a stormy school night and the power went out out of nowhere. So all of a sudden, the recording for it disappeared or it got corrupted in this case. So I'm left having to do yet another backup painting. And I'm starting to feel like someone in the sky is trying to tell me or give me signs that this space station should not be created. So who knows, maybe my Tumblr will collapse, maybe the internet will shut down, I don't even know. But anyways, if you would like to see the space station painting, which I actually did get done, then the link will be in the description. I would also like to hear some of your thoughts on what you think about the principle of raw efficiency. Might this be something you use? Did I make some bad points? Let me know below. Anyways, next week's video is actually going to be on the power of thinking bigger and scalability and how having this kind of mindset can really change the way you look at things. So I'll talk to you again soon and I'll see you in the next video.